Our prep profile tonight emanating from Putnam County, where as a freshman, Jay Kaufman tore his ACL. Then again in April, he suffered the same injury playing travel basketball. Titans boys basketball coach Tyson McLaughlin remembers hearing the bad news from his leading scorer last spring. I can tell him by his voice, you know, when he called, there was definitely that uh, that sense of uh, devastation. And uh, you just feel for the kid. He's such a competitor, such a good kid. And, you know, for something like that to happen, not just once, but twice, uh, it really puts some things in perspective. And, you know, you felt sorry for him, and you just wanted him to be out there with his teammates. So, you know, to see him back out here now, is, you know, it's a great feeling. It was definitely tough to have to sit there and watch kids that I've played football with since third grade, probably, to be able to have to sit there and watch them play and me not be a part of it was definitely tough. The want to get back out on the basketball court and be able to participate in my senior year of basketball is what kept me going. Three to five days every week for about seven and a half months of going to PT services and then doing stuff on my own too to get my knees as strong as possible. You know, I, I just think the determination that he has is it, it's unlike any kid that I've ever seen. Uh, he's got a great work ethic, great attitude, and, and I think uh, what he doesn't realize is how that impacts other people in our community and inside our program. Uh, when your best players are your hardest workers, it just uh, speaks volumes for, you know, not just his character, but the way he's been raised. The Ottawa Glandorf community received an early Christmas present December the 19th when Jay Kaufman checked in for the first time his senior season in a non-league game with Bowling Green. It gave you goosebumps. It gave everybody in here goosebumps. You know, uh, this is a close-knit community, and uh, everybody, you know, wants our kids to succeed. And, you know, when Jay, you know, that happened, I think it affected, affected more than just Jay Kaufman. And uh, I, I think that speaks volumes for the communities that we live in and, uh, you know, the impact that he's made on people. It was a great feeling, definitely missing my whole senior year of football. It truly makes you appreciate playing and makes you appreciate just being out there with your friends that much more. And the Titans have been clicking all season long with a deep bench and lots of energy. The cool thing about this team is any given night we could have a different guy be our leading scorer, or not even necessarily just be our leading scorer, but come up with a huge rebound, a huge steal. Any, any guy on any given night can make the game-winning play. The thing I like most, uh, they're not satisfied. They're still hungry. Uh, they, they understand that there's a lot more uh, for us to, to, to accomplish. So hopefully we can continue to play well, and we'll see what happens. Feeling good. Uh, just trying to keep my body in the best shape possible as the season winds down here and as we continue on the tournament trail or get into the tournament trail, I should say. And Friday mornings, long before the lights of the Supreme Court are turned on, Kaufman joins about 70 of his classmates for their FCA huddle. My uh, religion and faith is definitely a big part of my life. Uh, FCA is definitely a cool group that I've been a part of. It's nice to be involved in things like that to help your school and teammates come together a little bit stronger and make a little bit stronger bond together.